As with the previous quizzes, let's walk through the solution to this last question. Your question was, what would this code produce? To arrive at that answer, let's trace through a memory diagram step by step. We start with creating a list which holds the values 10, 20, and 30, and then we set up variable x to refer to that list. When we then set y to equal x, that simply makes y refer to the same list in memory. Here's where things get interesting. By saying x at index 1 is 42, we are going to change the list in memory. Remember that lists are immutable, so this change will have an effect like this. The list at, element, at index 1 is now changed to the value 42. What's interesting about this example is that y is also pointing to that same list. So when we go to print the list pointed to by y, we'll get back this change list. If you have two references pointing to the same object, permuting that object will obviously affect both references. Suppose you wanted to have y be an actual copy of the list. If you wanted to do that, you'd have to make this change. Saying y equals list x causes a new list to be created, which is a copy of x. So when you change x in line 3, it wouldn't impact your copy of the list. Knowing when to make copies or just use the same reference can throw off even veteran programmers. But if you slow down and draw a quick memory diagram, you'll be able to spot the error quickly.